What's up, Jeremiah's? This Cork EK50 Entertainer keyboard is Cork's latest foray into the budget entry level auto accompaniment keyboard market. The last time Cork had a product in this market segment was more than 35 years ago when I was a small child in around the 1980s with the Cork SAS20 accompaniment keyboard. And it is exciting that Cork has actually packaged a lot of the sounds features as well as the richness in the effects from the PA50 as well as the Cork Micro Arranger into a very affordable and really good build quality package like the Cork EK50. You realize that Cork didn't want to brand this as the PA series which is the model line for their more professional arranger. The EK series is Cork's latest line of keyboards which promises greater affordability and accessibility. This keyboard, as the name suggests, is made for playing and for entertaining and where performance matters. It is a great keyboard for learning and the user interface has been greatly improved to be a lot more intuitive. I remember myself using Cox M1, I had the Cox Triton, I also had the Cox PA50 and those were a little bit more challenging to use if you were a beginner keyboard player. With this EK50, I realized that I could move around the entire interface and get what I want to do without having to look at the manual. Of of course, as a new product, there will be some things which I wish Cork has included. But the thing about Cork is that they have a firmware update function within the keyboard, which means that as they add further functionality, you might see it updated within the keyboard. So here for the EK50, Cork has given great value where it matters. It has stripped away a lot of the gimmicky stuff that might be included in some other keyboards, but not a lot of users use that because if you are just learning and you're just performing and entertaining, you don't really need a lot of the gimmicky functions which are found in some other keyboards. Before I begin the review, let me just say that this is not a sponsored video. I don't work for any music shop and Cork did not pay me for this video. In fact, I ordered my own keyboard and Cork has actually lent me this keyboard to make videos until my own keyboard arrives. If you want to be one of the first few to own this keyboard when it arrives somewhere in November, you can check out the link in the description down below to City Music Singapore and you can pre-order a unit at a very special launch price right now. Over the next few weeks, I'll be making more videos detailing the voices, the styles, as well as making comparisons with other keyboards in this price range. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jeremy and in this channel, I do tutorials, tips, reviews on a Ranger keyboard. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to get the latest videos when I upload. For the next part of this video, I will be giving you my honest opinion as an end user and I'll be playing a few selected sounds so that you can have a feel of how this keyboard sounds like. Let's get started. This keyboard is lightweight at 7.5 kilos and it's easy to carry around for your little geeks and your performances. As part of the portability package, this keyboard runs on 8 AA batteries and the 8 AA batteries should give you at least 7 hours of runtime. The Korg EK50 comes with two 10 watt speakers that has sufficient volume and bass that you can use for small events, small gatherings and gigs. In addition, you can change the speaker EQ between the standard bass boost, bass cut, treble boost, treble cut, mid boost, mid cut as well as loudness. And really rare at this price point is a multifunctional joystick that you can use as a pitch band as well as for modulation. And if you're using this with the organ sound, you can also use this to trigger tremolo on and off. And for this price point, this is one of the best keybed that I have been playing on. This is by far way better than other keyboards in this price level. This is just so responsive and the hinge point of this keybed is really just very, very playable. The knobs and the buttons all feel extremely high quality and is lit up so that you know which one is on and off. There are four variations in the style, but how do you tell which variation you're playing even though there are only two buttons? If the button is green, you are playing variation one. Red, you are playing variation two. There are two different intros and endings. How do you select which intro or ending? By pressing it once, it will be green and that will be using intro one. If it's red, it will be intro 2. If you hit it once at the end of your playing, it will play ending 1 and if you hit it the second time, it will trigger ending 2. There is also a very useful count in and break button here. 
I have made another video last week detailing every feature and function on this keyboard. So if you're interested, do check it out. One of the biggest selling points of this Korg EK50 is that the Korg programmers and the sound engineers has already programmed a preset number of sounds that is all layered for the best effect. And these are called keyboard sets. I will be showing you these keyboard sets and the sounds are really rich and thick and fat and that is what I really like. I haven't heard sounds like this in a keyboard of this range for a very long time. So the voices on its own of course may not sound as impressive but when the keyboard has been programmed in a keyboard sets with different effects applied and different layers of voices, you get a really good sounding set of voices that is instantly usable for performances and playing.
thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like more content on this keyboard, make sure you leave your comments and hit the subscribe button. Till the next time, bye-bye.